feeds a camera in a classroom and yellow light feeding a TV set at this end. Connected by satellite. How many dollars an hour? It's cheaper than splitting up families. Uh, we don't have the money. Corporal. Norman Vaudrin. District school inspector. Oh, nice to meet you. He's here for the interviews for the high school. I understand you think TV 10, you should spend a third year in grade 9. Uh, the community thinks he are too. Yeah, well, I have to say that pedagogically speaking... He's not no, stupid. He's a troublemaker. Bad influence. Ah, uh, Mr. Bedouin, you see, there aren't many jobs up here, and uh, if he's not in school, he's just going to get into more trouble. This was a community decision. We are not a babysitting service. <laughs> Bureaucrats. Oh, the uh, ten years water tank's cracked. Might want to check it out. Interview. You could come too. They don't want to talk to me. I mean, Yellow Knight. High school. They're always talking about getting out of here. Yeah, Vancouver or Toronto. Not Yellow Knight. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? More bags there. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you. Grazie, grazie. Ah. Ah, dopo ci siamo. Bellissimo. Hello. Hi. Buongiorno. Oh, ma che faccia qui? Sì. Oh, sì. Dio mio, ma dove siamo capiti? Buongiorno. This will take care of the uh, bugs for you. Ah, yes. thank you. You need uh, boots, hats? Ah, uh, first. You came to the right place. Uh, <laughs> just a room, Jared, yeah, best you got. Ah, uh, please, uh, two rooms. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, the guests of the band, Jared. Just take care of them, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Fine. Oh, grazie. Ciao. I got some lovely fur hats and we'd be interested ah, in uh, mucklucks, mittens. Oh, yeah. It goes a mucklucks. Bonjour. Ah, vous parlez français. Moi, je m'appelle Marie Angelica Sangali. Et lui, c'est mon frère, Claudio. Bonjour. Oh. See you later, eh? <laughs> Number seven, your room. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and they'll take everything we got. Muskrat, beaver, lynx. Where'd you find these guys? In Edmonton at the hotel. In the bar. Who paid for their flight up here? We did. They're legit, Peter. Where do you see the coat she's wearing? Beautiful. <laughs> the fur business is in the tank. They gotta cut costs, too. So let me get this straight. You flew them up here at our expense so that they could save costs at our expense? Are you crazy? What's the going price for Martin? What's your point? Forty bucks. The Singalis will pay eighty. Look, you cut out the middleman. There's more for the supplier. And get this, I got him convinced the best supplier is us. Us. The band. Look, we organize the trappers. We guarantee the supply. We take ten percent off the top for services rendered. No Jerry. No side deals with trappers. Everything goes through here. And they bought this big time. They want to look around, make sure the quality's there. 
Oh, and I told them they got to talk to the chief. You know, he's the guy who says yay or nay. It's almost like you're the godfather, I'm the consigliere. Nice, huh? Thanks, Harris. Nice work. I don't think nothing of it. Just doing my job for you. Listen, you still have some of your things over at my place. You know, a sweatshirt, a couple of books. Oh, yeah. Uh, so whenever you want to. You know. No, I'll, I'll drop by. Then. No rush. Okay. Lynx River. Be it ever so humble. It's a very rough spill place, huh? Oh, and the light. Land of the midnight sun. It's like those uh, painters, you know, the seven... Ah, see, 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 uh, it's a um, magnificent seven. What? Your Brenner? No, 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 no. The, 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 the painters, the seven Canadian painters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, where is the river? See you, where is the link? Come on, I'll give you the grand tour. Gary, oh. customers. I'll show you. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you very much. Gary! Yeah, yeah, I got the message. You know where you're going to be staying in Yellow Lake? At Rosie's brother's sister-in-law's place. And the bands agreed to match your scholarship. So we solved the money problem, too. You see? I told you we could work it out. All you have to do is keep your marks up. I don't want to go to high school. Can't be a nurse if you don't finish high school. I don't want to be a nurse. Since when? You were really excited about it last week. Is there a problem at home? Hey, Bertha. Rex Center's closed, Trevor. There's these two Italians. Major weird. Out. You gotta see this. But we're not finished, Bertha. Bertha? I guess she's finished, eh? What did you say to her? Nothing. Why did she change her mind about high school? I don't know. Why did she? Well, there's a winter road out of here for a couple of months. How about the rest of the year? How do we leave this um, town? Well, you don't, uh, unless you fly. Ah. Maria, is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police? Ah. Is, there, is the Red Police? Yeah. Their office. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Just walk in. Excuse me. Bonjour, no. Um, uh, hello. We are looking. Si, si, uh, uh, Mounted Police. Oh, oh, well, you found us. I was looking for you guys. But the wire blue jeans. Ma, no red coat? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, red is only for special occasions. Ready uh, to meet the chief? Sorry. <laughs> They're from Italy. Oh. N never seen a Mountie before. I, I don't suppose you guys had considered. Uh, don't think so. The musical ride? It's a good tale. <laughs> oh. Ah. Yeah. Nice links is nice, yes, yes. but uh, we uh, we see lots of these in Oh, yeah. yes, lots. Uh, yeah, I think we said uh, around $80. Uh, and 10% uh, for you. That's 80 plus 10%. For the band. Uh, administration. Oh, fees. of course. <laughs> Something on paper, drop a little agreement. Oh, yes. Why don't you, um, why don't you take the Sangalis, uh, show them around a little. Take them up to the Joe Gomez place. Sure. <laughs> the little walk. Uh, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh. Why didn't you use those condoms I gave you? We did. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes? Well, what do you want to do now? I don't know. You know, it's early enough. You don't have to have this baby if you don't want to. Or you give it up for adoption.
You're 15 years old. Do you really want to be a mother? Does TV know yet? No. You want anything done around here, you gotta go through him. Ah, and uh, you work for him? Uh, we kind of work together. Uh, he's the politician. <laughs> I'm the businessman. <laughs> Hi, Albert. Uh, Maria Angelica, Claudio, Albert Goldberg. And no. Ciao. Uh, we are um, from Italy, and um, we come to look at these cars. Ma, does he speak English? A little. Oh, <laughs> you are a trapper. I'm uh, a lot of things. Ah. Enjoy your stay. It's a little bit every day. That's very nice. See, see, see that? Did you see that? Dr. Willie, he did the plumbing. Uh. Abby. Hi. Is this thing hooked up to Interpol? Interpol. I want to run the check on the Sangalis. The who? The Italians. I'm serious. Well, this is just for police work, Peter. Well, I'm asking the RCMP to run a check on somebody we might want to do business with. What business? Fur. All the raw fur we can sell. I want to know who they are, who they sell to, and for how much. Sounds like another yak farm to me. A yak what? Some bureaucrat talked us into raising yaks for the wool. Couldn't miss. What happened? See any yaks around here? How much did that cost us, Peter? They're willing to pay $80 for a decent pelt. $80? Mm -hmm. And if I know who I'm dealing with, maybe I can get more. I'll make some calls. I'll be back. Willie. Actually, uh, Joe's a bit of a legend in these parts. He's one of the great trappers. A medicine man, too. Ah, this is true. He's medical, sir. Hi, Joe. Uh, this is Maria Angelica and uh, Claudio. Hello. Ciao. Mm -hmm. And they want to see some furs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how many pelts you get in here? Depends. On wolf. Rabbits. No rabbits. Oh, no, no, no. The, uh, uh the marten, the lynx, they eat the rabbits. Ah, si, si, mm. si, yes. Now, what do you figure? Maybe 80, 100? Depends. Scusa. How many, uh, trappers, uh, here? Oh, we see everyone traps. Uh, same over at Wolverine Lake. It's, uh, ah, it's nice, but, uh, they pay a good price. Scusa. Uh, Joe uh, doesn't like to talk about money. Uh, oh, uh, scusa. We should head out. Yes, of course, yes. See, everyone used to cut their own deals. Same furs, different prices, chaos. But if we go through the band, everybody pays the same price. It's better. Did you find everything? I think so. Well, if I find anything else, I'll, uh... Yeah. I locked the door. Get all these off the computer. The yellow pages. I phoned the Fur Council in Toronto. We got stores all over the world. Milan, Paris, Rome. New York, Los Angeles. We're not exactly on the verge of bankruptcy. Thanks. 
What about the Tanya's water tank? I'm looking into it. I'm looking into it. 80 bucks a pelt for Lynx? 80? That's twice as much as you, Jer. Yeah, well, the Grand Lucas Alenko used to say talk is cheap. They buy everything from the band. The same price for everyone. And what's Peter's fetch? 10%. For the band, not Peter. What's wrong with that? Remember the fur call they started up at Muskrat's Landing? The band manager was stealing all the profits. He's trying to get us a better price. What does Peter know about fur? Nothing. Be nice to have everyone back on the trap line again. We used to get six, maybe eight hundred dollars for a lynx pelt. Yes, but this was before the anti-fur laws. Uh, it's before, and now it's, uh, it's different. Uh, eighty dollars is... Uh... No, ninety. For this quality, T90. Yes, fine. Okay, plus uh, ten percent for you. For the band. I uh, see, of course. For the band. We... Use quick kill traps here in Lynx River. And we honor the animals that offer themselves to us. This is not cruelty. This is not sport. This is a way of life. Is he a way of life? How much? 350. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 95, no more. This is not a business to us. This is a way of life. Indigenous trappers are an endangered species. Ah, uh, politically correct first. First, you sell the concept, and then you sell the furs, the finest furs. Relax. Let's not screw this one up. Oh, hello. I was looking all over for you. Oh? Yeah, I want to show her the coat. Yeah, can she touch it? Ah, see, si, hey, she can try it. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> ah? Hey. There, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think it suits her very nice. Not bad. Yeah. Hey, what's hey. with you, Bertha? Politically correct furs. What a load of bull. You see any rust? The man just does not understand business. He hasn't got a clue. Can you fix it? No, it's hooped. I have to get you a new one. What's it gonna cost? I yeah, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. He's gonna screw it up. You know why? Ego. Because I'm the one who set this up and he can't stand it. I'm not gonna let him screw it up. And this is the one I've been waiting for, Lois. If I get this town on the map, my reputation is made up here. We could go. Anywhere. Bertha! Come on, don't be stupid! I'm over here! I told him I wasn't going to high school. Didn't want to leave me, eh? What are you looking at? You? Stay? Yeah. You think 
you're going to read these? Maybe not. Which is why we want you to come in the classroom and talk about it. Both of you. Uh, me? Talk about AIDS. It is a legal issue, too. What's the point? Every teenager I get in here, I talk to about sex, AIDS, condoms, birth control. We have to try. They just nod their head. Yeah, 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 we understand. You know, even the smart ones. The ones you think would... Who is pregnant? Who do you think? Bertha? Who's the father? Watch this, Tony. Oh, impressive. Joey, would you uh, mind going outside for a minute? Why? Oh, I want to talk to TV. So. I didn't do nothing. Joy. So now what? I give up. You and Bertha? She could go to high school. I'm not stopping her. The baby? What baby? She didn't tell you. TV. She's the one who's pregnant, not me. I didn't hear that. She can do whatever she wants. I don't want a kid. Oh, so it's not your problem then, huh? You got it. used to be chief. There was an election. Peter won, Albert lost. Mm. It's not over yet. Another election coming up. I'm the house. Oh, thank oh, you that. very much. You're very kind. My husband's a trapper. Oh, yes. She is. So am I. Oh, you're oh, far too I beautiful know. to be a trapper. Uh, she is a trapper. It's a family thing. They all have a trap line somewhere. Ah. Uh, they all pay 10% of the chief. Where'd you get that? About uh, when you buy from the trappers, you don't need a permission from the chief? No. He's a politician, I'm a businessman. These people here, they're not the business type, you know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. <clears throat> Maybe uh, we don't need the chief. Yeah, how much you make from them? 10%? We double that. I'd love to help you, but. But. Uh, you don't want to cross my. But why? This is the only store in town. I'm not one of them. It's a tricky business. Oh, yes, see, yes, see, yes, I understand, yes. Excuse me. Ah. Well, you drop a bomb like that, what do you expect? Well, because I fix? thought I knew. The baby will be fine. Oh, yeah, she's 15. She can't raise a kid now. She can't go to high school. She can go if she wants. And what about the baby? Someone will take care Someone? of her. Someone? Her auntie, Lenore. Lenore can't support herself and Bertha. That Kenya's Elsie. Oh, I see. So she just, like, gives it away? It's not giving it away. Look, it's his kid. It's his responsibility. It's everybody's responsibility. Yeah, that's everybody's but his, and you act like it's nothing. You act like it's a crime. It's a baby. It's a good thing. <laughs> so, you would sell to me. Sure, why not? And the other trapper? Can't speak for them. And But you do not need a permission to sell from the chief? Sell to whoever I want. Ah, but the chief said that I must uh, deal with him at his price. That's right. But he said that That's I... That's right. As long as it's okay with the chief. Ah, so you do need a permission to sell. Sell to whoever I want. <laughs> as long as it's okay with the chief. <laughs> Thank you. Ciao. Heard you're not going to high school. Because of the baby?
Who told you? Sarah told Shirley. She's worried about you. Have you told your auntie yet? You can still go to high school. I'm not giving the baby away. You don't have to. Someone will take care of it. It's his baby, too. Have you talked to him about it yet? Maybe we'll get married. Have a wedding like Rosie and Leon. Talk to him. Looks good. You're laughing. No one's going to pay $350. It's called negotiations. Well, I could live with 80 bucks for a lynx. Peter should talk to us if he has something up his sleeve. Me, yeah, I think it's a too high. But the uh, foot is nice, so... 350 But you come to Italy. Help us out with some advertising. Uh, make our people understand your people's... Um, uh, Traditions? I see. Exactly. Uh, maybe make them film. Uh, bring over some of your trappers, too. No. Huh? No problem. This is good news. <laughs> well, I got a few papers we can sign, and uh, we'll do the, uh, the tanning and the dressing here. Tommy? Well, the fur needs to be treated and cleaned, and the leather needs to be tanned. Uh, no, 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 no. We take care of all that in Italy. No, but we can do it for less money. It's more profit for you. <laughs> you need a factory. We'll build one. A joint venture. And with the government, they'll give us half the money. You must think we are very stupid. I think you're very smart. You have to spend this money anyway. And our people can do this work better than anyone else. You end up as co-owner of the factory. Well, that's good business. Feel that, though. This is an insult. It's a bullshit. Wait a minute. It's just a bargaining position. They were gonna pay your price. They'll pay the price. Why? Because they want the fur. And they'll build the damn factory, too. Peter, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. For who? For the town or for you? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? There's nothing in this for me. I found these people. I brought them up here. As soon as they get a better price somewhere else, they're gone. I mean, come on. Once we build the factory, they got to stay. We get jobs, real jobs, permanent jobs. And me, if I have to go over there to Italy and dress up like a goddamn cigar store Indian, I will. But I want those jobs. You're going to end up with nothing. What do you think we're doing? Holding hands? I don't know. So, uh, did she like it? They all like it. So, uh, what's it like? Hi, Bertha. Hi. Well, I guess I'll be going. You don't have to leave. supposed to look after that stuff. So are you. You're gonna get an abortion, aren't you? I don't want an abortion. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Me? You can do whatever you want. It's your baby, too. Yeah. Prove it.
Could just throw it out. To... Sorry, it's a dry town. No alcoholic beverages against the law. Excuse What? No wine? We can come here, build factory. He sent that? Build a factory in Lynx River? I know, Chief. He's uh, Maybe some way we can get around him. Uh, let me see what I can do. Oh, no, we don't make a good request. Can I have that shelf, yeah. please? Of course. Okay. How does that look? It's crooked. Ah, uh, it's fine, Eric. Crooked. Where is it? Leave it. Well, what? What about you put some books on it? Yeah, no one will notice. Okay. Want to stay for supper? Uh. Please. You got enough? Tons. Go get washed. If you want to apologize, set the table. All right, uh, knife's on the left. Sword of God on the right, devil's pitchfork on the left. Residential school. Oh, uh, what about the spoon? It doesn't matter. So, I talked to her. Who? Bertha. Oh, yeah? So, uh, what did she say? She wants to marry him. Really? Well, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Are you kidding? Well, that's one way he might grow up. If the spur thing happens, maybe there'll be some work. He doesn't want to work. He doesn't want to be married. He wants out of here. TV said it's not as big. Everybody at school was talking about it. Well, don't you talk about it. At least not behind her back. Everybody knows. Joey said that TV said it's not his baby. Hannah, not behind her back. How'd I do? Better than the shelves. <sighs> yeah. Well. Hello. Oh. A little something for my cellar? Oh, the vino. Ah, si, 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 si. Please, come here. Oh, in a minute. Hundred thousand into a yak farm one time. Come, uh, what happened? See any yaks around? Get <laughs> close a yak. No, no, so. So, uh, what does he want? Peter? <laughs> um, the shopkeeper. He says that uh, Peter will lose the next election. Oh, he's a lousy chief. He doesn't listen to his people. So, uh, who will be chief? You. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> <Well, laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we could do business. Mm. No more factories. Maybe we could help him know. Huh? Ah. Think so? Oh, oh see. See. Si. Oh. Salute. Giving them a little free advice? A little hospitality. Maybe cut a side deal while you're at it? I'm not the one asking for 10%. <laughs> Where'd you find these? Under the tub. Huh. 
Is it uh, too late for coffee? him short. They need all the trappers. They can't make a side deal with him. I'm just saying, he can cause a lot of trouble for you. It's a good deal for them, but it's a great deal for us. Yeah. Seen any yachts around here lately? Come on, Mitch. And what if they won't build the factory? They'll build it. And what if they won't? You want Albert back as chief? Make a deal with them, Peter. Corporal! One minute, please. He's not in school. Who? Trevor Tenya. That's two days in a row. Well, maybe he's sick. Bertha Jeek is also absent this morning. Well, you kick him out of school, what do you think is going to happen to him? What about the rest of these kids? If we let him come and go as he pleases, what are we saying to them? All right, I'll talk to him. I admire your concern, Corporal, I but... said I... I would talk to him. If it's a girl, what are you going to call her? Madonna, okay? What if Bertha wants to go to school? It's going to be tough for Lenore. If Bertha goes away, the baby should come here. No way. Why not? Morning. What's wrong? Nothing. TV's gonna have the baby. I'm not having the baby, okay, jerk? Look, if you finished grade nine, there's a special course you could take. TV. Someone's talking to you. It's a correspondence course. You wouldn't have to leave home. What kind of a course? Well, they're going to be needing people to work at the rec center. It's part-time, but it could work into something. You're going to have to fill out this form. I'll get you some tea. Five hundred dollars a pelt? That's crazy talk. That's what Albert said. Who told Albert? And they were gonna pay it. No way. Then Peter said they gotta do the tanning and the dressing here. That's a good idea. They gotta build a factory. We can do it the old way. We don't need a factory. We're talking mass production here, Leon, and that costs money. They can get it from the government. What did they say? Ask him. They're thinking about it. I heard they want done. Yeah, who told you that? Morning. Hi. I'm going fishing. You want to come? Uh, uh, maybe. Today? Oh, wait. Just stay here. I'll get Peter. <laughs> yeah, I got mine back. Okay, everybody. Recess is over. Morning. Morning. Come right in. Morning. Sarah wants to talk to you. Oh, what? Sex. Where's Bertha? Here. Morning sickness. <laughs> All right, everybody inside. Oh. What about you, Trevor? What about me? You're still a student here, aren't you? I'm talking to you. Get in that building or don't bother coming back. Do you hear me? I want an answer. Leave me alone! That's it. If I go to them now, We'll never get the factory. They are leaving. You know who they had dinner with last night? Albert can only speak for himself. They need the whole town. We need them. They're going to make a fortune up here. And they know it. Not with us, they're not. Unless you get off your ass.
What are you gonna do, jump? Go to hell. You okay? I'll see you have some tea if you're sick. What are you gonna do? I don't know. But whatever I do, it won't be because of you. Maybe we don't need the factory right now. Factory means jobs. Real jobs. Not just government handouts. They don't want to build it. Can't make them. We just sell them the fur. There's no guarantee they're going to be back. But if they build something here, there's a reason for them to stay. Trapping for the white man is how we got into trouble in the first place. No point in starting it up again. It gave the men a reason to go back on the land and earn their keep. Elsie's right. But you should have talked with us first. Plane's coming in. Dave! You leaving so soon? There is no reason to stay. Oh, yeah, there is. This is from our government leader. She thinks the idea for the factory is great. She's gonna send a plane, she wants to meet with you. We'll have this thing up and running by winter, I guarantee it. Thank you, but no. No? Why not? Uh, we come here to buy furs, but now it's uh, is very complicated. Uh, yes. Grazie. Thank you for your uh, hospitality. Ciao. Ciao. Wait. Looks great. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you very much. Ciao. Bye bye. Grazie. Thank you. Grazie. Bye. Grazie. <laughs> Not over. They'll be back. <laughs>